Hey, how we doing, everybody? Uh, Farmer Jim here. Today I'm gonna take a look at this Agridasia map. Uh, I know it come out like November 2nd, but I'm gonna go ahead and look at it now because I really haven't got a uh, chance to sit down and look at it. Uh, Agridasia is a highly detailed, expansive map for Farming Simulator 22, designed with a focus on multiplayer gameplay. Created by Zelanti. The map offers a challenging and realistic farming experience. Uh, stick around. We'll check this out together. Gotta go watch Farmer Jim play simulator. Gotta go watch Farmer Jim so I'll see you around. Players can explore one city and three villages, manage managed six farm locations. It says six farm locations, but I can only find five. We'll go over that. And utilize four biogas plants. The central machine store and vehicle repair shop provide essential services, while a sawmill and a vast forest add to the immersive environment. With 253 plots available, players can engage in diverse agricultural activities. The map features 19 purchasing centers, including four railroad ones, and five railroad warehouses connected by four railroads. That's pretty neat. Uh, we'll go over that too. Additionally, there are four liming stations, nine production facilities, and four animal purchase points spread across maps in different locations. Most of the animal purchasings uh, are in the villages or city. The inclusion of six fuel stations with the variable fuel prices adds an economic aspect to the gameplay. I remember when I played in uh, Farming Simulator 19 when I was playing on Agri Days here, the fuel seemed really expensive to me, and it looks like it's about the same way in this one too, so it might be worth setting up like a tank on the farm or something. Agri Days boasts street and pedestrian traffic enhancing the realism of farming of the farming simulation furthermore the map incorporates modern elements such as 4e charging stations reflecting evolving agricultural landscapes for those seeking a more challenging experience agridage is positioned as a map to surpass the standard of difficulty providing players with an authentic and enjoyable farming adventure Released on November 2nd, 2023, Agridesh is available for PC and Mac platforms and has a file size of 427.52 MB. Zelanti encourages players to delve into the map, wishing them a pleasant gaming experience filled with excitement and realism. Uh, that's what attracts me to this map, is the realism aspect. I mean, you got the rolling hills and everything. Uh, We'll go ahead and check out uh, the starting point. All right, here we are on uh, new farmer mode. We'll go ahead and slow the time down a little bit. That way we can get a chance to look at everything there. We're going to start out with some machines. See what we start out with. Smart, small tractor. Steyr 8150. Get two medium tractors, the Voltra Velmet and the Massey Ferguson. Hit the harvester. Got your truck there. Got the trailer. Got the header for your harvester. Cultivator. Cedar. Trailer for your header and a couple weights for your tractors. So that's what you start out with. And everything's well used, and the repair is way down, and it only has about a half a tank of gas. We'll go up here to our farm, and I'll show you what land you start with. And what it looks like there. Got 
got a silo, home, tractors they'd talked about. Let's see what this tractor looks like. Yeah, same way. It's got even less than that, guys. Yeah, everything's real low on maintenance and uh, can use gas in it. So let's find out where the... We're right here. Takes a second for this to load. 91, 92, and 90. 92 is one of the starting locations that I found. I, like I said, I only found five of them. Uh, in the description, in the mod description, it says there's six uh, locations. I'll show you those here in a little bit. We're going to find a gas station because I mentioned the fuel prices too. We're here at the fuel stop now. We're going to see how much it is to fill up. Oh, that's $220 just to fill up the half, half tank in the truck. So it is a bit expensive. You imagine you get a harvester out there and have to fill it up. It'd be a little costly. Okay, I'm gonna show you some of these uh, starting locations. Where your farm is, that's the city, Agridage. And then there's uh, like three other small villages. I'll show I'll show you those as we pass them. And then there's six farm locations and four biogas plants on this map. Biogas plants be under productions. We got one up the road here. We'll check it out. I think in Farming Simulator 19, uh, the tr these trees weren't here, and they, all of this had a wall around it, and there was a big uh, places to put, like si silage bunkers and stuff there. But looking at this place on the map, this isn't a property you can click on and buy it. You have to actually purchase the place itself, and it's 1.7 million. So none of the biogas places are uh, purchasable. Now as for the starting locations... Farmland ID... 74 is one of the starting locations. 92 is where we started at. 98 is a starting point. There's one at 150. And the other one's down here at 198. Now I've looked around the map. I cannot find that sixth one. If you guys... Uh, happen to know where it's at or see it, leave it in the comments below so I can go look at it. Uh, one thing, that one of uh, the pieces of property that did interest me and I thought should be a start, starting point was 244. I'll take you up there and look at that one too. But uh, I'm going to show you what these starting points look like. So I'm going to go up here to 98. Here we are up here at uh, Farm ID 98. All that it is, is a little pad. That's what all these starting points look like. It's just a little pad. And I imagine if you started on, like, uh, one of the other ones, 
not new farmer, but uh, the next one, like a medium or hard, that's what uh, 92 would be like, too. And you don't start with a field, it's just a little piece of property here. Just a, basically the cement pad and a little bit of grass around it. So that's what all those look like. And we've seen the biogas. There's uh, lime stations as well. One over here. That's in a port. That's a pretty big facility over there. It's got a, quite a bit going on. There's a bunch of sailing stations over that way too. A uh, lime station over here. And you have one there. One there. So they're sp spread out through the map. And you can see from the PDA here, the map, these... uh. Turn the vehicles on so you can see these trains. These trains run on their separate tracks and they're connected all by the silos. So you can dump uh, into the train silos and transfer it, uh, the grain from one train to another essentially until you get it to the other side of the map or where you need it. Thought that was pretty cool and that was like out on FS19 as well. We got uh, quite a few productions already on the map. These places cannot be bought, so you have to go in and, and purchase each individual uh, production, like you would on the, with the biogas plants. All right, your large forest area is up here, thirteen and fourteen. Sawmills way down here. We'll drive down there and take a look at that. This is actually one of the other little villages. Each uh, circle of roads on the map is one of the villages, or right in the center, up by 41 and field of 41 and 42, where you start at. That's the city. Down here at the sawmill, it's right on the riverside. Pretty neat looking. Like I said, you gotta buy every facility. This is 162,000. Other productions has you got the spinnery, biogas, uh, crystal kookier, uh, raisin factory. We'll go check this one out. Not sure what this is. Cheese and dairy, carpentry, grain mill, chocolate factory, biogas. Got your new uh, crops already incorporated in it. So let's drive over there and check that out. actually in one uh, right outside one of the other villages like a couple cell points there Let's see how much this is 98 I'm gonna buy it see what it does the under productions.
Looks like it makes sugar. Okay. Take sugar beets, uh, cut sugar beets and sugar cane. Like I said, there's four animal, uh, dealers on the map. One at each of the villages or the city. And four e-charging stations. And there's two rock crushers. Another thing I found interesting was, uh, over here to the map. Your shop is up here, so if you purchase any new vehicles, uh, that's where they're going to appear. However, if you don't have a repair shop on your farm, then you're going to have to come way down here. The vehicle sales, this is where the repairs are made. We'll go up there and look at that, because we just passed it. Alright, here we are at the vehicle sales. Go ahead and see how much it is to repair our truck. So, uh, the repair's all the way down. It's uh, 4140. That's not too bad. But the map is kind of expansive there. 253 plots, different places to buy. There's a very large forest. There's a couple real small ones. Uh, there's a couple of them that are considered parks. You can't buy them. But that's pretty much it. We've seen some of the terrain. got a tractor with a trailer here full of grain. We're going to take it over here to the railroad. That way I can show you what's going on there. Alright, we're up here on one of the railroad exchanges. Ahead and ran out one of these. Cranes. Take it out there. There's another set over here.
but you can actually load to either train and they're on separate tracks this one's coming around this is still way over here it's got to come back down around so you could load either one of those trains and essentially pass it to the next one there's two more here there's two more there like I said they're all connected so you could eventually get it to where you want it this would be a train cell point there's one over here by the port you could actually load it uh, offload it there Now, there's a bunch going on at the, over at the port here. here we're going to want tip stations. There's, these are all your different cell points on the map. Got the ship, debris crusher, railroad harbor, port. So there's plenty of spots to sell all your products. I mean, look at all these different places. You can... Right now, it looks like the bakery's offering one of the best prices. But you'd have to find the best price and figure out if it's worth it. Uh, there's loads of sell points. A lot going on, on on this map alone. I was, t I was talking about the gas prices a little bit ago. Let's take a look at those. You can actually sell... Uh, fuel, but it's not worth it at the railroad outlet or the ship. But these are your gas stations. Like I said, there's six different gas stations on the map. And this one being the most expensive. Where's this one at? Way over here. So I'd probably avoid that gas station or uh, depending on how much the prices fluctuate on each. Here comes a train now. Let's see if it's the one I rented and see if it stops. As I hit this rent rental and yeah it's gonna stop. So we can fill that one up. I don't know if the other one will stop or not. It's going back down around. Because even though there's a cross there, these trains never switch tracks. Or at least they didn't in 19. But you can open that cover and start filling that with the grain that you have. And we'll go up here. Take the train up here and just sell it there. If they accept wheat. This will go way up here. Give us a bird's eye view. Some of the fields that are around here. Still a nice looking map. I played on this one on FS19 for a, uh, for a little while, but uh, it's too big. I mean, even the small fields, what you think are small, uh, you got to keep in mind they're still four times bigger than what you think, because this is a 4x map. Got the brake supply, but it's not slowing down as fast as what I thought it would. Alright, we'll back it up here. We'll just go ahead and sell our little bit of grain here we got. That's pretty much it. Go back down here where we were. Now I don't know how I don't know if I have to release the train or not. Yeah. So. 
and this map uses all the little Elm Creek toys. Remember the Elm Creek toys? So these are scattered around the map. Found the harvester. There's nine more harvesters to be found. Yeah, that other one wasn't slowing down at all, so. Just thought that was pretty cool that those run side by side like that. But the only new thing, oh, the map uh, overall is, uh, has different things on it. But other than that, it's just the electric charging stations. Uh, I think they said there was four of these scattered throughout the map. Six fuel stops. I, I think it's a pretty interesting map. It is a 4X map, so you're not going to have it for your consoles. I think on FS19, uh, during a live stream, right here is where I got hit by the train. One of them. I better get off the tracks. I'm stuck. Oh. Maybe I will do a little bit of a playthrough on this, just to see what all there is, just to test it out. Uh, but I gotta get through the Zalonka map first. Gotta get back into that one. Some of these hills are pretty big. Gives your machines a little bit of a workout. Looks like there's some of the new crops planted in the field 50 there. And those are pretty big fields too to be harvesting the newer crops. As the vegetable crops they harvest quite a bit slower than a lot of other, the other things. And what you start with is field 90, uh, farm ID 91, 92, and 90. Field 41 and 42. They look smaller, but actually not all that small. So we'll go ahead and do a flyover real quick. I'm going to turn everything on so we can see this map. Everything. There's something going on just about every point in the map, except for down here you just got some fields. And look how busy the port is. And all these little villages right here. Something going on. All right, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a fly over here. You can actually see Agridage from way up high there. Let's fly over to the port. Where the big boat's at. At your cell points, the gas station, an e-charging station in there, just a whole lot going on. A couple cell points in there. I mentioned 244 that I think would be a good spot to start. That farm ID. 
It's actually right here. All of this. Just this little sliver. And the only way to get to it is uh, up past the field there. Or just come across this bridge. A little bridge here. There's a couple of these little bridges throughout the map. One of the biogas spots. That wee little spot uh, is one of the starting locations. Uh, the starting locations actually look pretty big when you pull up on it at the truck. But compared to one of them fields, it's real small. So that just tells you how big the fields are. There's a train. This is one of them little villages. This is all open grassland here. I think this uh, spot is like 2 million. Yeah, two point, almost 2.3 million for... Farm ID 54. There's no field in it. It's just all open grassland. Some of the details on this is pretty good. There's that sawmill. And uh, right off, off that little village we looked at. Over here's another starting location right on the edge of the map. There's that expensive gas station we was talking about earlier. One other little spot I wanted to show you. It's, I think it's up this way. Yeah, there's a like a just a pathway that leads back here. Bring your horses down here. I've never had horses on farming simulators. I need to try that. Thought that was pretty neat. A little setup. You got a pathway all the way down there. Railroad interchange. We was that earlier. All right, there we are. Back saving sound on the ground again. Uh, not sure what else to show you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Send me an email. I'd be happy to answer anything. But other than that, I hope this helps you decide whether you want to use Aggradage as uh, one of your multiplayer maps or not. I know I'd like to. Alright, everybody. Until next time. Hey everybody, Farmer Jim here. As always, thanks for watching my video here on YouTube. If you found this informative or helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to activate that little bell so you know when I have another informative video for you to view. Thank you everyone, and we'll see you next time.